C, G, A minor, F, C, F, and C. You can do the 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 initial bass bass line by imitating the ba the past bass player, which is doing pam 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 pam. So it's just that you can do it either on the first string or you can do it on the starting with the with the fifth fifth fret of the second string. Which can be done can be done on the and the G or here on the G. G A B and then and then you do the, the C major. So that's that that's a way of starting the song. You can know, you can either do C here or C here and start your your the rest of the introduction, like for example. You can also do it on the lower C. You're, you're already on the C when you're playing here. You're already doing the C. So you're going next to the G. So you do pa, 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 C. So I go in one time. Up there, yes. So. Particularity, you you want to start the the verse, which is on the third position of C major, and then E, e minor, or right. It took a little bit of time to to get used to that because, especially with with this one. So when I went with um, what is it, A minor, no? So with the A minor here in this position to A minor a little bit up. That has to be quick, so it, it took me some, some time. You could trick it to sound like a uh, kind of A minor. So from here, you get this one on here, and this one uh, one fret before. The B string, I just don't play it, right? No, you don't play it. You're doing the same A minor as in the third position, but you're using the E note in here and not playing the last one. We have right now we have two options. Here you go this way for the A minor, or you go with the bar. It's the same. You're using the E note to sing. You can change your, your little finger from A note to C. So you don't need to switch the whole the whole hand. So that's another option. You stay on here and you do Let's continue to the second the second part of the verse. In between the each strum you have to take care of the spaces. 
so you can you can fulfill the, the measure. For example, pause, and then you get this. Exactly, that's the pause unit. Well, after understanding this, how how do you handle the options you have, and how do you look for easier easier way to the same chord so you can sing the melody? We can go to the to the chorus and and do the part. No, and so we can study that one. The cuatro doesn't have a G and the A, A string, so we can do we cannot do pom 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 because there's no E. But you can do it down here. No. So for that you get bam 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 no. You can do both if you want. And then get to the G chord. So it sounds bam bam bam. Okay. If we if we talk about reggae, so this is a reggae song. Mm -hmm. In terms of rhythm, like how how would you describe the the rhythm? The goal of the reggae technique will be not to play the first one, but the second, not to play the third one, but the fourth. This is the base of the reggae, which is not the song. To give you an idea of what's happening. So when you're playing the song, cha cha cha, it's always present. So it's pretty much one a strum, strum frenado, strum frenado, just like that, no? Yeah, we we'll frenados, frenados, from frenados. Interesting. Uh, having the rhythm, having the melody, and having the harmonics, you can build, you can continue building this. Song. So we see more detail in the next class about how to do those melodies for imitating the singer. Okay, fantastic. Thank you.